Namaskaram everyone and happy Jita Jayanti. The shloka which I will be reciting today is the 18th shloka from the 5th Adhyaya which goes as follows. Vidya Vinaya Sampani Brahmane Gavihastini Chunichaiva Shopakecha Pandita Samadarshinaha the meaning is that the men of knowledge, the learned ones, the Pandita, sees the same in a Brahman who possesses the knowledge of the Vedas, the qualities of modesty, who is in the mode of Sattva along with a cow, an elephant, a dog, which are all animals and are in the mode of Rajas and is thus unrefined. Uh, and lastly, Shwapakicha, which is a dog eater who is in complete and utter darkness tamas and the most impure of them all the reason i chose this specific verse is that it is a great honor to me that bhagwan sri krishna in his divine and timeless dialogue with prince arjuna mentioned my demographic my heritage uh, which is chinese we've been practicing dog consumption for millennia so the lesson here is that no matter how pure or impure something is we should look at it with an equanimous mind and without discrimination. Because no matter if someone is a Korean, Chinese, Vietnamese, or Brahmin, Brahman, which is the illuminator of all these entities, remains the same in all of them. Just like the illuminator remains unaffected by the object that which it illuminates. That is the meaning of Samadarshinaha, which literally translates to seeing the same entity. Applying this knowledge with awareness and consistency in my everyday life have helped me tremendously when it comes to mental stability uh, and focus towards the ultimate goal of liberation. Discrimination, however, is extremely important on a societal level when it comes to performing one's own prescribed duty as according to the Varnas. Also when it comes to Prakriti, which is the physical body and mind that is caused by the illusion of Maya, Discrimination is needed here between that and the Purusa, which is the timeless soul or the self. One who exercises this discrimination constantly certainly attains the Supreme. Namaskaram.